2018 and impacts on its world economics and second its scientific discovery of process of air, condi air conditioning that changed the world economics. Uh, I will also like to welcome our uh, director sir Dr. Nitin Joshi who will be moderating us on the same and asking several questions as a participant. Before we start the session, I would like to introduce our speaker, Dr. Agarkar. Dr. Sudhakar Agarkar is presently working as professor and dean at VPN's Academy of International Education and Research, Thane. After a remarkable career in science, mathematics, education at Homi Baba Center for Science Education, he retired in 2013. He had obtained his MSc degree in chemistry from the University of Nagpur in 1975 with university rank and PhD in science education from University of Pona in 1988. Presently, he engaged himself in understanding the rich heritage in science and mathematics and spreading the awareness about it among students, teachers and parents. Uh, sir has also various professional experience of planning implementation and evaluation of education projects. He successfully managed educational projects like talent search and nurture amongst the unprivileged, improving te teaching of science and mathematics through voluntary organization, quality improvement program for ashram schools, in-service training of teach teachers and teacher educators. I would like to specially mention over here that his special interest lies in education of the social deprived students working with special able students in Mumbai as well as in tribal areas in Maharashtra. He has developed remedial instructional strategies to facilitate learning of science and mathematics among social deprived sections of the society. He has written numerous pop uh, popular articles that have been published in local newspaper as well as magazines. Uh, he has received many awards. I would like to mention few of them. Uh, he was facilitated by the Marathi Vidyan Parishad for his outstanding work in science education in 1992. He was awarded the Rotary Foundation Absolute Scholarship. He, also, he has also awarded Homi Baba Award in science education in 2012. His book on activity based on teaching of biology received Best Instructional Material Award. Sir is a global trotter. In addition to all this, he undertakes study, visit, and conducts educational tours of individual teachers and students to the other country. In collaboration with his son, Dr. Agarkal has also initiated a startup named Edu360 Knowledge Solution Private Limited. Also recently, a mobile app named Arios has been launched that enables students to experience science concepts through augmented reality in an interactive mode. This app has received a positive response from both teacher as well as students. So without wasting more time, I would like to call sir uh, to address us. So welcome, uh, Dr. Agarkar. Uh, no, I think this is uh, our uh, continued interaction on the uh, issue of innovation and uh, creativity. And uh, uh, we feel uh, we take pride in you being here with us uh, and sharing uh, you know, whatever you have read and experienced uh, in your journey of uh, uh, no, entrepreneurship, creativity, and uh, innovation. Uh, so, you know, while discussing last time, you had shared that you wanted to share something about wireless communication and its impact on the society. And we, you also shared that uh, it is linked with something called a scientific discovery. So, you no, know, a few points uh, because uh, we always uh, we are very curious to know uh, all these things. Uh, uh, and uh, since uh, this uh, scientific discovery was a new word, I thought. Uh, uh, why don't you share with us what exactly you mean by scientific discovery so that it will actually uh, help our uh, student learners students you know to understand what is this discovery innovation and uh, invention kind of thing yeah yeah uh, thank you uh, dr joshi uh, for inviting me and uh, uh, this is a very uh, important subject which is close to my heart 
because um, uh, as a scientist throughout my life, uh, I have come across uh, a large number of personnel in the scientific pursuit who have worked on basic science and they came out with a new idea. And uh, when this new uh, idea or new concept is uh, converted into practice, uh, we, we call this entrepreneurship. Uh, and then uh, not only you convert this into a practice or convert this into a useful gadget, but you then try to market it, sell it, and make money out of it. And this money is not only uh, to yourself, but uh, to your society and to your country. Okay. So ultimately, the country progresses. The, 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 the uh, development of USA that we see today is because of this technological uh, new things that they have done. Sure. So what I mean by discovery is you actually are trying to understand what is there in the nature. When you try to understand the nature, it is a discovery. For example, how plants make food. So you try to understand the components that the that are involved, the chlorophyll, carbon dioxide uh, in this process, uh, and, and the sunlight. Uh, and in this process, uh, the plant um, takes carbon in, uh, gives out oxygen. And that is the uh, basic process which occurs in nature that you understand. Okay, and then because you know this, you might like to speed up the process of photosynthesis. For that, you may create greenhouses, and there you might put on certain lights which help the photosynthetic process. That is an application. Okay, okay. and once you up, uh, use that and, and and then make money out of it, that ultimately results to uh, you know growth of uh, the country. Finance is the most important aspect. So coming to the second issue of, uh, you know, why I have chosen wireless uh, communication as today's topic uh, is because it has changed the entire world. Not only financially, but socially also. At this moment, we are sitting in brims and um, anyone who can connect to this link can listen to our discussion. Sure. This is the uh, benefit of wireless uh, communication. Uh, and now you use wireless anywhere, not only mobile. Even when you use remote for your television, you are using wireless. Even when you open the lock of your car, you are using uh, wireless. Right. When, when you use Bluetooth, you are using wireless. It is wireless communication that is keeping us alive. Absolutely, absolutely, totally. We, 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 I, I can communicate immediately. I can know if there is some problem somewhere. I, I can help uh, the person. Even the doctors can suggest medicine. Yes. Even yes. without, uh, you know, physically meeting uh, 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 the patient coming to the doctor. Physically, this, this is what we are we are experiencing. So this this has you know occupied the entire uh, life, uh, and therefore I have chosen this topic. And there is another reason why I have chosen this topic, this topic because there is an Indian man wow. who is responsible for this. Yeah, but, yeah, but. <laughs> now, now it has become a great thing. But the original idea came from an Indian man. Wonderful, wonderful. Would you like to know who that person is? I am curious. Yeah, I'm really he, curious to know. Yeah, yeah. He is Sir Jagdish Chandra Bose, wow. known as uh, J.C. Bose. Uh, born on 30th November 1858. Now, 1858 was the time you can imagine mm -hmm. uh, when British had a strong rule uh, here uh, and we had, you know, our struggle for independence uh, started at that time. So, here is a man who had his education in Britain, came back 
and involved himself in the frontier areas of science. And you will be surprised to know that he was actually sent to England okay. to become medical doctor. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> but the destiny uh, was such that he had to leave medical education. Oh. Would you like to know why? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was. I'm just. I have a question with me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, why sure. actually means no. Medical, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. So, yeah, yeah. See, see, he, 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 he uh, had his uh, school and college education uh, in Kolkata, uh, and after graduation, he went. He was sent to uh, London for medical education, uh, and there he found that he he has a great nausea for chloroform. Oh. You know, chloroform is a chemical that is used in hospitals very repeatedly. Yeah. Uh, and he could not bear that smell. Oh. So ultimately, he decided that he will not be able to pursue the education. Mm -hmm. So he left that. But fortunately, because of marks and good performance, he had no difficulty in getting admission into a prestigious college in Cambridge. And he joined. Uh, Cambridge Christ College, and this is the college where Charles Darwin studied. Oh, uh, and and there he met many British physicists uh, who encouraged him uh, to conduct research. Okay. So, so you mean to say means uh, so when you when we talk about you know going to Cambridge, you know, going to Christ College where Dar Darwin was, Charles Darwin himself was there. So do you also feel that? Uh, a lot of environmental role also plays in somebody's uh, development. Exactly, exactly. The speciality of Oxford and Cambridge is this environment. Mm -hmm. Firstly, they have a good library. Secondly, they have a good laboratory. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, they are surrounded by intellectuals. Mm -hmm. And there, is, there are a lot of discussions that go mm -hmm. uh, within the campus. Oh. Uh, I, I, and, and the most important thing that I found in Cambridge and Oxford is that very intense teacher people interaction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So teacher would be there at eight o'clock in the morning and will be there at the eight o'clock in the evening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this teacher is not teaching all the time. Mm -hmm. The teacher is either sitting in the room available for consultation, working in the laboratory or reading the books in the library. So that is a very motivating factor, factor that my teacher is also in the library mm -hmm. trying to get new information. My teacher is also doing some experiment mm -hmm. so, and I get motivated. Mm -hmm. so, so teachers are role model kind of, yeah. uh, they have a role model behavior. Kind yeah. of. <laughs> and nice. therefore you will find they have a largest number of Nobel Prizes as compared to any other university. So, sir, when you when you were sharing that he left his medical education and yeah. he took physics yeah. as uh, yeah. yeah, and uh, no, our chairman keeps on saying always that physics is yeah. the most uh, yeah. you know, important subject, or probably called as mother of science also. Yeah. So, no, I, I'm very curious to know what is this uh, physics yeah. mother of science and all that. Uh, no, no, actually, the statement goes like this: uh -huh. mathematics is the mother of science. Okay, but physics, you know, physics at the forefront. In fact, I I I was in TI for you know. Yeah. For 40 years. Uh, TIFR being a physics dominated institution. The, the, there, the feeling is if you know physics, you know everything. Okay. <laughs> if you don't know physics, you don't know anything. That, 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 that's, a, uh, that's, that, that's what physics arrogance of the institute. Okay. But, but, you know, physics is a subject uh, that, uh, you know, got developed. In fact, it is a biology that got developed uh, to begin with. But then the physics took shape. And sometime uh, in 18th and uh, 19th century, physics developed very fast. Mm -hmm. And you will find there are a large number of physicists mm -hmm. who, who have contributed to the group. Okay. And and now, you know, the, you know there is a branch called molecular biology. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. And who are working? The physicists are working. Oh. Because you need to operate the graduates uh, like electron microscope and like that. So, sir, yes. after his graduation, what he did? Yeah, his, uh... yeah, yeah. He, he, he went to London okay. Okay. at the University College London. You, you saw that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, where uh, he uh, conducted his research under uh, a very prominent physicist, Lord Rayleigh. Oh. 
and they submitted his thesis for PhD. And his work was so prominent that he was awarded DSC by the University of London. This is 1885. So 1885, when he had a DSC from London University, he would have continued there. Okay. He would have got job any, in any uh, university. And in fact, his guide, his colleagues, his friends advise him not to go back. Okay. <laughs> Stay here, continue research, you will get all the facilities. But he decided to come back. He came back to India. He came back to India. 1885. He came back to India for two reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one, because he loved the country, the patriotic feeling. And the second thing is, he wanted to prove that even Indians can do something solid in basic science. Wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> because that was the environment uh -huh. when, it, in general, the feeling was the intelligence and the knowledge should come from West. We are here to just receive. Mm. We are not producers of all. We are consumers. Huh? Consumers of that was the feeling. And you will be surprised to know at that time, the professor, British professor was paid higher than the Indian professor. Oh. And this man had to go on a strike. He mm -hmm. Bose. Mm -hmm. He said, I am I'm not accepting this. So you need to say, after coming back to India, he joined yeah. as a professor. Yeah, he joined as a professor in the, okay. professor in the presidency college, okay. uh, Kolkata. Okay. Uh -huh. Even though he had a PhD from London, mm -hmm. he was given lower salary oh. than the um, uh, British professor. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, and, and you can imagine, which means they did not give much importance to uh, Indian uh, scientific personnel. Sure. He wanted to prove that even Indians can do solid work in basic science. And therefore, he took up a very frontier mm -hmm. And you might you might be interested to know what is that frontier Yes, yes, yes. 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 So but sometime... Before, I, that, before that, would you like to share some of his colleagues and all that? Because yeah, 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 they would have motivated yeah, yeah, him a lot. And all that. He, yeah. he, 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 the best person, the colleague, was Prafulla Chandra Ray. Ah, uh, he's again a, yeah, a, 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 a yeah. chemist. Yes. He also had an education from Britain, but okay. he was uh, in Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. They met in UK very shortly, but their greater interaction has been in presidency college. So both uh, uh, tracked their different routes, but both have made their name. Uh, one is a chemist, another is a physicist. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes I may get confused mm -hmm. because I may call J.C. Bose as a botanist. Okay. Because later on, he uh, worked in botany also. Yes, yes. Okay. So we are now focusing on his physics work. Yeah. And I was telling you that he chose a topic which was very hot at the frontier. And that was electromagnetic radiation. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by electromagnetic electromagnetic radiation? radiation? Let me explain it for the benefit of the suit. Sure, sure, sure. Electromagnetic radiations are the radiations where electricity and magnetic components are perpendicular to each other. Okay. The light rays with which we see any object are electromagnetic radiations. Mm -hmm. Ultraviolet rays which we receive from sun, which are abstracted in the uh, atmosphere, they are also electromagnetic rays. Okay. X-rays, they are electromagnetic radiations. Gamma rays, are also electromagnetic radiations. Mm -hmm. The infrared, which may, which creates heat, and radio waves. These are all electromagnetic radiations. Okay. So that um, one person, Maxwell, came out with an equation mm -hmm. for this. And he said, you might feel these are different rays. Some you can see, some you cannot see. But they all are in the same, same spectrum. Area. Okay, And this person, wanted to work in the area of electromagnetic radiations at the higher end. When I say higher end, higher end means as per wavelength. Mm -hmm. The uh, gamma ray has a very short wavelength, which means higher frequency. Then come X-ray, more. more wavelength. Then come uh, ultraviolet. Then come our visible, which is 4002, uh, which is 4002. Um, 
seven seven eight hundred uh, uh, angstroms. Mm -hmm. Okay, after that you have infrared. After that you have uh, radio waves. Radio waves they have has a longer wavelength, lower okay. frequency. Okay, and they can pass. They can cross the wall. Okay. They can uh, if there is some mound, they can cross it. Okay. And that's the advantage, yeah. which uh, other rays cannot. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, therefore, they wanted to make use of radio waves to. Uh, send signal from one place to another. The picture that you see now mm -hmm. is, you know, these yeah, are yeah, all the applications, applications of, of the wireless uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, telegraph. Okay. You might like to go back, uh, uh, slightly, go back and maybe I, I can, since he has started the PPT, I would uh, quickly. And go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. here is a man. Wow. He's a great man. And, and, uh, um, as I told you, uh, um, both physicists and botanists, go ahead quickly. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is the this is school uh, in uh, Kolkata. Uh, uh, this is called Harris Schools. Uh, it was established by one person who uh, came from Britain and. Okay. So we were discussing, sir. We were discussing about you know, his uh, uh, interest in the area of electromagnetic. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, uh, 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 He started working on higher level of frequencies yeah, yeah. or higher waves. So yeah. uh, after then, what actually happened? How yeah. that yeah. scenario yeah. came? That just just there is a slide because I yeah. this is a Christchurch. Okay, Christchurch. Put it there. Yeah. This is the uh, University College London, which yes. I told you. Yes. Saw it. Uh, next to go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Jamaat sir. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is a gadget that he has developed. Okay. And at the presidency college. Okay. What he did, he felt that radio waves can be used <coughs> for passing signal from one place to another. So, in one of his lectures in 1894 in presidency college, <coughs> what he did, he kept a bell in the laboratory and he was giving lecture in the lecture hall so by switching a button here he could ring the bell oh <laughs> that is one <laughs> that is one Very another, another thing he had the uh, you know uh, sort of a gunpowder okay <laughs> kept there okay so by switching a button here uh -huh. he could burn it in that Oh, laboratory. <laughs> what we see in the movies. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is what this is what <laughs> remote bomb. Remote. A remote bomb. Uh, remote control. Uh, and when he communicated this to his friends and guide, mm -hmm. Lord Raleigh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and those people, they invited him to London. Okay. To present this in the Royal Society. What is after that? Uh, okay. So here is the building of the Royal Society. Okay where he made a presentation in 1897. Okay. You know, in this, this, this it was taking time. Mm. The journey was more than a month yeah. uh, and uh, everything. In 1997, sure. he made a presentation. Okay. This is this this is a historical presentation. Okay, okay, okay. This is a historical presentation. Okay. Fortunately, okay. a photograph is available okay. while he, he was making presentation at the Royal Society of London. Now, an Indian Indian making a presentation. Yeah, yeah. an Indian okay. person making a presentation in front of British intellectuals, sure. all the members of the Royal Society, and even they were they were invited mm -hmm. members, and one of them was Mr. Marconi. Okay, <laughs> Mar we have heard about him. Yeah, Marconi Marconi was actually an Italian okay. engineer. Mm -hmm. He came to uh, England to for his some work and he was present there. One of the participants of this presentation was Marconi. Marconi. Oh. And they had a great greater discussion. Mm -hmm. Now here the, the you know the, the, inti the intention of a academician yeah. and intention of an a business guy yeah. differs. <laughs> After the after he made a presentation, one newspaper reporter came and asked him, 
said that sir whatever you have presented there seems to be a great industrial potential mm. are you thinking in that direction Sir, Very logical is, question. Ah, Very logical, logical question. Yeah, yeah. J.C. Bose said, I am not interested in industrial application. This is the knowledge that I have made available mm -hmm. and is applicable to everyone. He did not even patent. So can we say he was more of a pure, pure academic? Yeah, kind of. pure academic. Yeah. And, and, and he said, okay, whoever wants to make it a bit, that is okay with that. It. And he then shifted to botany. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you might have okay, heard that he proved yes. that even plants have feelings. Yes, yes, yes. When you cut them, when you put poison the, the roots of plant, they they they, they, they might feeling. not be able to cry like us, sure. but they they have a feeling. Yeah, uh, feelings. Sure. Okay, so this is and then Marconi. Mm -hmm. No, Marconi was working in the same area. Mm -hmm. This this was not a beginning of his work in this area. Marconi was working, being an engineer. His, his focus was not on a theory. But more on application, practical application. application perspective. So he was working. He got this some idea. new ideas from him. And when J.C. Bose was not interested, Marconi continued to work. Mm. And within four years, 1897 was uh, this uh, present interaction. Mm. Within four years, that is 1901, mm. Marconi could succeed in transmitting signal from this part of Atlantic to the other part of Atlantic. Atlantic. And that signal was only a later. Huh? Okay. Just a later. There was no sound. There was no communication. <laughs> text. Just a text. text. Okay. But that gave a confidence. Mm. Earlier, he was doing for a shorter distance. 100 meters, 200 mm. meters, yeah. etc. Et okay. Now, here is uh, Marconi. Marconi. Uh, you know, his, his first name is... Uh, very funny, Kulelni or something like that. Okay. And therefore, I usually call him Marconi. <laughs> so here is the person, and with his instrument, mm -hmm. you can see uh, he uh, had a something. speaker and transmitter. Of course, you need a transmitter at one place and receiver at the other, at the other, other end. Place. And he was given Nobel Prize for this work. And whenever we refer to a book, who is the discoverer of radio? Marconi is called Marconi. Okay. By the time actually the radio uh, broadcast started, it took a few years. Somewhere around 1910, the radio broadcast started. And would you like to know when uh, broadcast started in India? Not really. 1923. Oh, so it took 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there is an organization called Society for Free Speaking People okay. in London. Okay. They started broadcasting, which is called BBC, oh. British Broadcasting Company, a society of free speaking people. Oh. Anyway, so um, once uh, he started it, it expanded. Now you can imagine here is a theoretical concept, here is practical application, and then there is a business. True. When he said, I can transmit signal from one place to another. People then started making programs True. for radio. Radio manufacturing began. Radio receivers <laughs> began. Then, then you had to uh, um, set up towers to, for, transmit, uh, to signal. transmit signals. Yes, yes. All, all these aspects are now connected. So, and, uh, so you, you mean to say one idea and yeah. then multiple yeah. dimensions yeah. are coming yeah. out of one idea. And by 1950, radio became so popular. During Second World War, radio was the most reliable mode of, of communication. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, and, that, and, and radio then became a source of education, mm -hmm. giving knowledge. Yes, yes. large number of programs. Have and been. I think I remember that I think uh, you only had shared uh, one story during our London visit uh, uh, that uh, this uh, radio communication was also used by a lot of uh, army people during that. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is called wireless. Yes, yes, wireless. Uh, and in fact, in fact, uh, since you opened the issue with me, Hitler used to give orders to his uh, sub officers mm -hmm. who, who were located in different places through radio signals. Yes, yes. And those were coded. 
confidentiality here. Uh, and they had to be decoded. Decoded, yes. And yes. for that, a certain gazette was developed. And then, you know, it, it will take me I astray. Think, I think Alan Turing, Alan Turing made the first computer to analyze that data uh, in England. <laughs> now we call it encryption. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Encrypted data. Yeah. Encrypted. Okay. So this is what uh, um, is the radio. But then, then one more development occurred. Next. And that is uh, television. 1901, that is the beginning of 20th century, radio was discovered. Just 20 years later, this person, <laughs> um, John Baird, failed that why sound signal, I can even... Video signals can be shared. I can transmit other signals also. Anyway, I have the um, uh, career media. media. <laughs> so why not um, use it? So the only thing is, you have to convert the picture into uh, similar format. Signals, yeah. Electronic yes. signals. Uh, and that's what he did. Okay. 1920. Uh, that was the 1922 that the time. But this became more popular after Second World War. So actually, if you really see from the innovation perspective or yeah. the creativity yeah. perspective, what yeah. we observe is John Bed did not say that, okay, sound signals are going, I'm happy with it. No. No. He, he started questioning why only sound? Yeah. Uh, why not video also? Why not? Why not? Video? I think that is really. I, and, 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 yeah. and let me let I think me show. Is, this is the message the students need to pick up. Exactly. Don't, uh, don't stick to what is happening. You yeah. can even start questioning what is happening. Wonderful. And they can think differently. Uh, yeah, I think this yeah. is a great... Uh, yeah. And, and sometime in 1928, there was a first television mm -hmm. telecast, once again by BBC, Okay. Um, in, in England. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, at first, of course, that was a very bad communication. Okay. Black and white uh, pictures. TV. And signals were uh, transmitted through a tower, and they could be received at a, only at a certain distance because you know the limitations. Yes, uh, yes, yes. They don't signals. bend; they don't go a longer distance. Signals so they had to be booster stations, and all all those uh, difficulties <laughs> were there, and those difficulties were overcome. Now, now we have <laughs> at the tip, we, at the you, tip of your finger, you, everything you, you can see the things anywhere. So that is because of other development. Sure. Okay. And, and maybe we can see what the other developments are. We go ahead. So I think, yeah, uh, this, uh, this industry then probably, you know, probably uh, the way uh, yeah. you have been sharing that it started off with uh, the basic signals. Yeah. Shifted yeah. on to radio yeah. and uh, on to TV. Yeah. So probably gradually it has moved into you know, a different uh, league yeah. altogether. So. Yeah. <laughs> satellite. Yeah. yeah. Satellite, satellite communication. Came. Yeah. Next. Next. The satellite came, you see, now now you the mobiles came. So, no, you see, you see, you see the picture here. Now, 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 mobiles, I don't know whether you are aware of it. Earlier, very few people had mobiles. Yeah, yeah. And they were not ready to give their numbers. <laughs> <laughs> because even, in, even to in, receive. Incoming was also a cost. Now, incoming is free. The incoming is free. Yeah. For even for outgoing, the charges are so low. Yeah. And India is the cheapest uh, in all this. Yes. yes. Okay. And, and you see see the modification. Now our mobile has become almost a computer. Yes. yes, yes. Smartphone. Yeah, yeah. It has replaced the camera. It has replaced the computer. Um, it has replaced the organizer. All those gadgets we use. So to. the kind of... The kind of uh, mm -hmm. Turnover, money-wise, I'm yeah. saying, uh, means I do not have the exact data, but uh, no, probably it is all in trillions only. Uh, yeah. No, because yeah. the kind of uh, turnover which Apple alone has, yeah. uh, the, the company called Facebook yeah. or Meta, which is now uh, no, yeah. getting converted. Yeah. Yeah. So all these companies being uh, Microsoft or uh, Microsoft is definitely into software, but yeah. probably yeah. application-wise, yeah. uh, all these companies are into uh, some in some way or the other they are using these uh, signals. Yeah. So I think uh, somewhere. When we see uh, 1898 uh, and now, so uh, close to 125 years, yeah. and this industry has turned into a trillion uh, industry. Yeah. Uh, no, so, uh, and people would have forgotten the dishes. Yeah, forgotten. Yeah, forgotten. The original uh, yeah, creator yeah, of yeah. this. And, this and, uh, and, and what I'm trying to tell you is Nokia was the pioneer, pioneer uh, yeah. uh, company which uh, started producing um, 
mobile phone in large number yes and yes. i i don't remember exactly but it was said that the budget of nokia is more than the education budget of finland finland yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. That, it, that that was okay. given uh, later on when the smartphones came when the touch screen came the nokia uh, fell behind and then the others came whatever it be but it's a big business now yes now yes. you can see people have two mobiles you people have two sim cards uh, and they they are moving towards uh, <laughs> smartphones uh, and there is a um, uh, there is a big group which repairs uh, phones there is a big um, uh, service that gives you uh, provision purso hoga ha yeah this is what is called uh, satellite communication and because of the satellite communication uh, though are earlier things of having microwave connection having towers etc has gone okay. uh, and we 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 indians are much ahead in that Absolutely. with our insight you can do anything true uh, and and and, and uh, i think and, last time you were sharing that india is uh, pioneer and is actually helping a lot of other countries yeah yeah why don't you share that at at, at one stage at one stage i i <coughs> let me let me share one interesting uh, anecdote of mine this was sometime 96 uh, 97 there was a conference in brisbane australia so i was uh, in i had submitted a paper which they had accepted <laughs> so once my paper was accepted i uh, wrote to them that you know i am a poor man from a poor institute of a poor country <laughs> so can you please give give me financial support so they said no then i said okay i will somehow manage air travel but can you at least uh, allow me to stay for go my registration fee and arrange for my said no mm-hmm. so i was little <laughs> angry and i went there okay and and i uh, started quarreling with that person mm-hmm. who said why don't you support me mm-hmm. she asked me there was a lady she asked me who needs support mm-hmm. there is a poor, poor man from a poor country you know what she said how can you say you are from a poor country mm-hmm. can a poor country have a satellite in the geostationary orbit kya baat wow so she had realized the potential of our country wow. and and he said we don't have an even a space program mm. and you are keeping your insight in the geostationary orbit and you are calling yourself poor okay. you know while going i went as a poor man from a poor country poor institute while coming i said i am a rich man from a rich institute for the rich culture okay. so this is yeah, i think is, i think it's real yeah, credible yeah, sir yeah. i think it's you know so our space really, program really, our space program is a great program and at, at one time we have launched 104 satellites mm. but out, out of which it's yeah, out, out of which four were so our other, others were all from developed countries and each one was launched at a same time now you can see we are so rich Do you can you tell me exactly how many channels we have on our television? I I, I can't remember. Because no <laughs> no even if you tell you will be wrong because by the time you tell there will be one more channel. Channel which you would have already have. And it is all because of satellite, satellite communication. Satellite communication. You can hear uh, at at a long distance. So actually, it is the power of uh, yeah, communication, yeah, yeah, power yeah, of that yeah, uh, wireless yeah, communication, yeah. which has enabled the industry to yeah, move yeah. Through, like. Uh, uh, and this is what I was saying: mm. internet service mm. providers. Yeah. Now they connect you mm. immediately. You can now talk from here to your friend in any part of the world. Any part of the world. <laughs> that could be developed country, undeveloped country doesn't matter. It's all because of the internet. Uh, there is provided absolutely you, you 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 can even carry your sim and use it there with a certain charge or you can get a sim there and put it in your <laughs> mobile so all because of wireless communication uh, and um, satellite uh, so sir when you are sharing this no mm. what idea which comes to my mind is mm. i think our management students mm. like uh, see what i see here mm. you know that uh, Mr. Jagdish, Sir Jagdish Chandra Bose huh. created something, an idea. <laughs> yeah. So probably with physics, I am saying he is a science student. Yeah. Uh, Marconi as an engineer. Yeah. This is a little different stream. Yeah. And somebody with a business idea. Yeah. So it is not that one alone can uh, yeah. be a great yeah. business yeah. guy. So yeah. our students can actually interact with our science students 
they can interact with our polytechnic students yeah. uh, they can interact with our commerce students yeah. and then probably uh, with this uh, thought process yeah. if you, if they have an idea they can start their own uh, entrepreneurial journey certainly uh, rather than just you know uh, probably thinking of limitations and yeah. that i i can't do this or that i think they can collaborate and uh, yeah. you know, uh, integrate with somebody else yeah. i think it's a great yeah. idea it yeah. would be very big yeah. now look to complete that sequence you said mm-hmm. jagdish chandra bose mm-hmm. then marconi then you can have steve jobs yes in the sequence yes yes, uh, yes. and the continue continue so 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 entrepreneurship you know this was a very new idea uh, which was put forth people did not know if it will be of any use sure but now you can see it has so same is when yeah, laptops yeah. were start manufacture manufacture started you know people started asking who will buy it <laughs> home computer but now you see it has become a essential uh, commodity sir i was one of the sellers yeah. when uh, laptops were introduced yeah, in yeah. india yeah yeah <laughs> and uh, i'm telling you uh, the weight of that laptop was close to 3 kg during that time yeah, know, and even the carrying laptop was a bulky <laughs> scenario and uh, at that time only vice president and ceos were given laptops yeah. the rest of the people were uh, to use uh, yeah. pcs yeah so no the journey has now shifted that laptop is there in literally every house now yeah Uh, so the development and uh, no, yeah. and i think now with yesterday's uh, or day before yesterday's budget mm. Mm. Uh, our uh, mm. thought process uh, going mm. towards digital mm. Uh, mm. currency mm. Mm. i think uh, it is again a part of uh, it is going to boost <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, you know rbi is uh, yeah. move about uh, cb cd yeah. Yeah. kind of i think uh, so a revolution yeah. Yeah. Some, it, some, yeah. sometime in sometime in the last decade of uh, 20th century mm-hmm. 1890 1995 or so um the first mobile was used yeah, yeah. in india and now now you see everyone has every, a, every, every uh, literally a mobile yes, yes yes same is the case with telephone and telephone. i think uh, india is one of the biggest users of mobile we are one of the biggest users <laughs> yeah. of same is the case with television uh, and as i as i was telling you wireless uh, technology is used not only for radio television but or other even when you control your tv program you are using wireless and and the most important thing is uh, the signals that you are getting from stars uh, and the sun they are all wireless communication so how, how did jagdish chandra bose got the idea because mm-hmm. he said i get sun rays from such a long distance without any media mm. <laughs> i get uh, those signals uh, from other stars That's... so why can't i send signal from one place to another mm. <laughs> only thing is i have to produce those uh, signals radio waves and to uh, one step ahead i would like to tell you that tifr itself has one unit called gmrt okay giant meter wave radio telescope okay in maharashtra near narayanga Okay. it's on pune nashik uh, road okay. they receive signals which have emanated few billion years ago mm-hmm. from stars acha yeah. <laughs> and it's totally it is totally indigenously <laughs> manufactured jay okay. jay gmrt has about 47 telescopes okay they are all indigenously manufactured they are arranged in y array when the earth rotates it becomes a big acha satellite mm-hmm. and and uh, govin swarup was the person okay. uh, who pioneered this for for uh, him i wrote a editorial in disha you you must anyway so so you can see uh, wireless technology which started as yes one one think, research has a, come to this brilliant level. i think no a brilliant idea yeah, and brilliant, brilliant. Uh, session no probably yeah, uh, knowing yeah. that an indian could do all yeah, that and yeah. uh, that's why I, i that's why i chose this so now this is a, this is a, you know uh, in, in our implication now present situation is we are all <laughs> we are part of digital world <laughs> <laughs> go ahead go ahead next this is uh, i was looking at this figure hmm. 19 72 uh, billion ha uh, yeah 72 billion dollars yeah, this yeah. is intel intel company yeah <laughs> and this is um, financial year 19 ah. um, so you can imagine yeah. you can imagine what the google 
Yes, and they are all trillions. Sir. What, what, what the Apple? Uh, yes, yes. And even even Indian companies, Infosys, yeah. or you can, and, and most important thing is the employment. True. The employment these companies have created <laughs> is huge. In fact, at one stage, whoever entered into engineering college landed in an IT company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Currently yes. also, sir, happening. Yeah, he yes. also even a mechanical yeah. engineer. Yes, yes, yes. Plans in IT company. Currently, because of. currently the scenario is same, sir. Yeah. Okay. So here is you know one more social social impact. Yes. This is what I have tried to give here, and that's where. I think, sir, based on uh, current uh, discussion, no, uh, I would request Kunal, sir, mm -hmm. who takes care of this. Probably we should uh, have some system, sir. Uh, so that this, if somebody comes up with an idea, yeah. how can we encourage them, and uh, how you know if they can interact or how? See, because sometimes uh, how do we capture those ideas? I'm just worrying about the capturing of their ideas, and we can help them build up. Because if we create such facilities, probably more students and more participants can mm. be encouraged to nurture their ideas. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. nurturing ka apne issue hai. Uh, idea ko aadhi log suppress kar dete. Yeah. So, no, my my yeah. my 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 line of work is let the people know mm. who these innovators are. Yes, yes, yes. They must know that they came from a common background. Yes, yes. They, they were not born with silver spoon. They came with a small common background. They had education like us, but they dared to do something. Yeah, yeah. Let they let them know. This is what I'm doing for the science college people. Mm -hmm. I call it know the innovators. Mm -hmm. So here we are focusing on that particular research which has made a great impact on economy. But once again, the theme is the same. Yes, yes, yes. Here is the, the idea is yeah, I'm sure, sir, innovation. The way let, you are yeah, with, yeah. with your stories, I'm yeah. sure yeah. some of our students will definitely get inspired. Yeah. Because no, it is the way today we are discussing. Mm. I can see on Pradal sir's face, mm. you know, he's mm. he's getting mm. uh, some mm. energy out of yeah. the discussion. Yeah. I myself, I'm feeling that yeah. oh, what, what, why I'm sitting in a room? Why can't right. I be doing right. something more than what I'm doing? Right. So uh, these uh, stories are pretty powerful stories. Yeah. They can change somebody's life. Yeah. So this is the power of your story. Yes. Uh, so and I'm sure uh, with the kind of uh, person you have brought in, yeah. uh, who has changed the world. Uh, or the world economy or the, yeah. the way we do business today, I'm sure uh, uh, this is going to be uh, our, uh, no, a big game changer for many of our students. So, uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, thank you very much for this uh, wonderful story, sir. Any message? Uh, like every time you give some message, no, my, uh, my, my message my, would be my, really my, my, message, my message is think something new. And, and, and my second thing is don't compete with other, others. Compete with yourself. So you should be one step ahead today than where you were yesterday. Sure, sure. Okay. So continuously progress and, and share your knowledge with others. And, and see that our country stands on its own feet. This is what I call Atma Nirbhar Bharat. We should not be you know, begging. That begging ball must go. We should stand our own feet. So nobody should say that we are from a poor country. No, no. <laughs> and and you know, I, I give you that 1996 <laughs> event. <laughs> that was very interesting. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm sure uh, uh, my student friends and uh, all those who are, uh, no, thank you very much. I think if you have any questions, we'll be very uh, happy to address yeah. uh, no, anything in the line of business, innovation, creativity. Or, And if you do not have questions, then probably we'll have a vote of thanks. And so next time I'll uh, speak about still making. Wow. And still how making. still yeah. making and how still making change the entire global global scenario. Yes, yes. Okay, that's my topic for so next session. Is there? So first Thursday of yeah next March. Okay. So we'll have. I think third. Third, third, and I think third. This was the third. The so third March session, I think. Ah, you'll be, you'll be dead Somewhere around. Somewhere around. Uh, okay, we'll just. So we, we, first was our Indigo. Yes. Second was our um, air conditioning. Mm -hmm. This is the third, and fourth uh, will be still making shop sure, sure. Great. Ronald, sir, can we have vote of thanks? 
yes, uh, Pranav. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, no doubt that it was really an insight. Thank you, Prajakta. As sir has so mentioned various yeah. points regarding scientific discovery of wireless communication. Some points about physics, about about development in the world, electronic magnetic radiation, the gadgets which uh, sir showed us, the radio, the television, the satellite communication, internet service provider, their information, and various uses of wireless communication. I'm sure many of us have the same feeling that I got today. And a good interaction between us and sir. Before moving towards the vote of thanks, uh, guys, anyone has doubt? You can even write it in the chat box. Uh, I guess no doubt. So we are, shall we good to go further? Coming to the end of the session, I would like to extend a sincere gratitude towards Agarkar sir for sharing his valuable insight with us. I would like to thank him for spending his time with us and motivating us. Uh, the story which he had told about the Jagdish, uh, Jagdish Chandra Bose sir was very useful and I am sure that his experience that he shared with us will surely help us in the near future. I would also like to special thanks to our director Nitin Joshi sir who moderated this session by asking questions on behalf of our participants. Thank you, sir. Uh, it provides us a better clarity. I would also like to thank the Institution Innovation, Innovation Council for providing me such an opportunity to speak about sir. Further, I would like to thank all the faculty participants and especially the IT team to keep us connected through online platform. Last but not the least, I would like to thank all the students for being an participant. Thank you all. You did a good job. Thank you so much for this. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Great. Can I, can I, can I have a look yeah. at this? So thank you, Hitesh. Thank Malabu you, uh, Vishakha, Vikas, Mihal, Rutuja, for all your valuable Malabu. comments. No? They, they inspire us a lot. And uh, Suraj. Thank you. Is there any comment? <laughs> 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 <laughs>